Up next, find out why students here at the University of Alabama are shining light on a new hero. A light so bright that it's leaving other heroes here on campus dim and in the corner. On game days, you will find thousands of fans watching the Crimson Tide walk down the Walk of Champions. Army Staff Sergeant Harrison Brown, Army Private First Class John Brown. But tonight, that walkway was lined with heroes. There are 197 total. Each luminary represents a fallen soldier. Myself and my wife received simultaneous notifications that my little brother, Mark Forrester, had been killed in action that day. Brave soldiers, much like Mark Forrester, who lost his life in a heroic act to save a fallen teammate. They found that he had wrapped his front and rear body armor in the American flag. And um, you can see the bullet hole in that flag where it grazed his, his chest plate. Hundreds showed up to remember the thousands of Alabamians who have died to ensure our freedom. Passion to keep their memory alive. That's what it's all about. Glenn Nimmons, along with other members of the Blue Star Foundation, had a booth set up to show the faces who paid the cost of freedom. The University of Alabama's SGA and ROTC joined forces to plan this event with the goal of showing veterans one thing. Appreciation. Simple as that. Glenn Nevins, a veteran himself, expressed his gratitude. Just rendering a uh, salute during the playing of taps in honor of all these. That's what we want to do. With the University of Alabama, I'm Hannah Ward reporting.